okay guys today in this tutorial we will learn about a project in which we are using some leds along with some power sources also accompanied with switches so first of all you must have to select the output components and then you can see a lot of different type of leds that that range from 3 mm to 10 mm so you can select uh, like a 3 mm miniature led and you can just uh, drag them to the main platform okay now we are dragging them that is red orange yellow and then green and then blue and then white and then amber color okay now we know that these leds are having two pins that is one is uh, called as the anode the positive one which is usually long and one is cathode which is usually short as you can see so first of all your your main task is to connect all the negative or cathodes of the leds because we are going to provide ground on all the negative pins of the leds it is a very useful process in every circuit that you are supposed to make common all the cathodes of all the devices Okay, now in order to uh, make it on uh, every LED, we need some sort of switches. So you can go to switcher and single pole, single throw toggle switch, SPST. You must have to drag it here. One, one for every LED. They are big, so size there is there can be some bit issue of size, but we will try to manage it. Okay, then you can trade how many LEDs we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there must be seven switches but uh, as there is less space so we are uh, supposed to do them with five switches so do one thing that connect the positive end of the led to any of the end of the switch because switch is not polar you can it is it is just a connector so you can connect it with any of the terminal so here I am connecting it. Okay, so rest of the LEDs are connected to okay, like this. Okay. And number one with this switch okay now every LED has its own switch but uh, for these three that is green blue and white LEDs we are just using one switch again go to power supply power supplies and go for one uh, or it must be three volt yeah we must have to take three volts now connect it with the positive of the battery. Okay, to connect it with the positive of the battery. Okay. Okay. 
so we can also drag the wires and make them looking good so now we are connecting all the ends of the switches with the positive of the one three volt power supply which consists of two dry cells of three volt okay now do one thing that uh, just uh, take one open wire from the ground okay and connect it with the cathode okay now we are going to run the circuit okay now now we can see that our first led is changing its state that is converting from on to off and off to on then we will come towards the second switch and it enlighten the second one the third switch make the yellow one on and this switch is actually connected with three leds so it is connecting these leds with the supply okay now the last one and it got burned why it is so because actually this led cannot tolerate the current the, the voltage because maybe its voltage is less than like uh, operating voltage is less than 3 volt and if you are applying more volt so heavy current will be flow within the uh, led so that's why you must have to attach a current limiting resistor for for this led the amber one so how are the rest uh, all the rest are doing good so hopefully you got some concept regarding leds with switches and circuit wizard so thanks for watching